If you wait until the right time to have a child, you'll die childless. And I think filmmaking is very much the same thing. You just have to take the plunge and just start shooting something, even if it's bad. Nature's imagination is so boundless compared to our own meager human imagination. People call me a perfectionist, but I'm not. I'm a rightist. I do something until it's right, and then I move on to the next thing. Curiosity is the most powerful thing you own. I'm a storyteller. That's what exploration really is all about going to places where others haven't been and returning to tell a story they haven't heard before. Hope is not a strategy, luck is not a factor, fear is not an option. There are many talented people who haven't fulfilled their dreams because they overthought it or they were too cautious and were unwilling to make the leap of faith. It took me a long time to realize that you have to have a bit of an interlanguage with actors. You have to give them something that they can act with. It'll be all of our efforts together. It won't, won't ever be exactly the way I imagined it. And that is, I think, an important lesson as well, is that in any group enterprise, it's going to be the sum total of the group. I try to live with honor, even if it costs me millions of dollars and takes a long time. It's very unusual in Hollywood. Few people are trustworthy. A handshake means nothing to them. They feel they're required to keep an agreement with you only if you're successful or they need you. You have to not listen to the naysayers because there will be many and often they'll be much more qualified than you and cause you to sort of doubt yourself. I certainly didn't think of myself as gifted. The standards for being gifted in my environment were if you were good in Little League or if you were good in football. I love short trips to New York. To me, it is the finest three-day town on earth. Imagination is a force that can actually manifest a reality. Don't put limitations on yourself. Others will do that for you. The film industry is about saying no to people and inherently you cannot take no for an answer. I mean, you have to be able you have to have made the commitment within yourself to do whatever it takes to get the job done and to try to inspire other people to do it. Because obviously the first rule is you can't do it by yourself. Every time you dive, you hope you'll see something new, some new species. Sometimes the ocean gives you a gift, sometimes it doesn't. I had read tons of science fiction. I was fascinated by other worlds, other environments. For me, it was fantasy, but it was not fantasy in the sense of pure escapism. Your only competitors are your past achievements.
To convince people to back your idea, you've got to sell it to yourself and know when it's the moment. Sometimes that means waiting. It's like surfing. You don't create energy, you just harvest energy already out there. Sometimes your whole life boils down to one insane move. Any direct experience that I have with indigenous peoples and their plights may feed into the nature of the story I choose to tell. In fact, it almost certainly will. The magic doesn't come from within the director's mind, it comes from within the hearts of the actors. I watched a couple of really bad directors work and I saw how they completely botched it up and missed the visual opportunities of the scene when we had put things in front of them as opportunities, set pieces, props, and so on. Pick up a camera, shoot something, no matter how small, no matter how cheesy, no matter whether your friends and your sister star in it, put your name on it as director. Now you're a director. Everything after that, you're just negotiating your budget and your fee. I set my goals way higher than the achievable. And when I fail, I fail at a very high level. That's my process. It's really demented, but it actually works. When you are aiming really high and doing something new, you must be also prepared to fail, learn from your mistakes, and begin with a new plan, more motivated than before. I was always fascinated by engineering. Maybe it was an attempt maybe to get my father's respect or interest, or maybe it was just a genetic love of technology, but I was always trying to build things. My mother was a housewife, but she was also an artist. My father was an electrical engineer. I think people had somehow gotten the sense that we have explored everything when that isn't the case. We so know so little about the ocean and so much of it is being destroyed. The snake kills by squeezing very slowly. This is how the civilized world slowly, slowly pushes into the forest and takes away the world that used to be. The future is not set. There is no fate but what we make. Inspiration can hit you in the head at any time in any context. It could happen in a conversation. Talking to someone at a party, you can get an idea, but you've got to remember those inspirations. Here's my philosophy in life. If there's a fire, you put it out. If there's a flood, you fill sandbags and you build a dike. You roll up your sleeves and you get to work. People think that what I see diving must drive what I put into films, but that isn't really the case. When I'm making a Hollywood production, I'm telling a different kind of story. Of course, if I see something interesting that works, we will look at it, but they are different things. If you set your goals ridiculously high and it's a failure, you will fail above everyone else's success.